This short film is intended to document the histories of all the guitars I've ever cared for, and for all of the guitars that have ever cared for me. Here is a left-handed acoustic Fender DG-10CE I got from my grandparents for my 16th or 17th birthday. They gave me the money in a card, and I ordered it online, and when it arrived at my door, there was a profound feeling of disappointment, my least favorite. This Montana CL80 is the second guitar I got to start taking formal lessons in high school. It was purchased for $99 from an unremembered guitar shop in Las Vegas that told me it was specifically for left-handed people, but all they did was restring a normal guitar, the third favorite. This old black guitar is quite difficult to keep in tune. Clearly it has seen better days. Curiously, upon receiving this, I was told that if one were to strike the right chords, one could cease the beating heart of anyone listening. This is my favorite one to play. This is the first guitar I ever owned, a left-handed Austin AU735 I got in 2002 from AJ's Music in Henderson, Nevada for $120. I wanted to learn to play after seeing Oz play guitar on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's my fourth favorite. Once upon a time in the 1980s, my mom stole this Ibanez artist from my dad because he owed her child support money. I'm not sure if he ever paid, but the guitar stayed in my mom's closet for years until my uncle Rocco asked if he could borrow it until I was old enough to play it. When I was 14, I asked for it back, and he guilt tripped me about having spent $50 on getting new pickups installed. Around 2005, I had the nut reshaped for left-handed playing. This is my second favorite guitar. This is the end of the guitar film.